You know, recently I've been thinking you guys really need a tutorial for something that'll lift you up. So I decided, why not a forklift? Let's go ahead and get started. Now this tutorial is going to be a little different than my normal style. We're going to do this kind of step by step, so let's go ahead and begin. To start, we're going to use four coal blocks, all for the wheels. To follow up, we're going to use six yellow stained clay blocks for the body. Next, we're going to place two stone brick slabs, one on each side under the stained clay, as shown here. Now to fill it in, we're going to use three diorite blocks. This is going to be for the floor of the forklift. Every driver needs a comfortable seat, so we're going to throw in one stone brick stair right in the middle. Now go ahead and throw in one more yellow stained clay in the back, and then add three stone brick slabs for the spoiler. Now we have to keep the driver safe, right? So we're going to add in some doors. To do this, we're going to use two black stained glass panes directly as shown. Next, to cover up those wheels, we're going to use two upside down stone brick stairs for the wheel caps. Drop one anvil right in the middle and cover it up with a gray carpet right on top of it. A driver is never complete without steering. To do this, we are going to add in one open spruce fence pointed directly at the anvil. Now we need to protect the driver, so we're going to go ahead and add in the cage. To do this, we're going to use eight cobblestone walls. Next, we're going to connect each pillar using spruce fences, directly as shown. Now go ahead and throw a hat on it using eight dark gray carpets, followed by one stone brick slab directly in the middle. Now let's go ahead and swing around to the front to finish this thing off. To finish this bad boy off, we're going to go ahead and add in four stone brick slabs, two for each arm right on the front of the wheels. Next, we're going to add one random slab in the middle. I don't really think this is necessary. It's just for looks and support. Next, we're going to go ahead and protect the driver with some fallback protection by adding four iron bars directly in front of the driver cage. While we're at it, go ahead and add four stone buttons on each wheel for extra style. The last step is to give it something cool to hold, so maybe, you know, crates, or hey, the driver might have an awesome salary, so diamond, eh, let's be honest, probably gold. You could even give it something like a System Z, which coincidentally is me, or probably soil, sand, Spongebob, Patrick, some explosives, or even a button. Yes, there's a button on there, you can really hold anything, the point is give it something awesome and really make it customized for the area that you're putting it in. If you're working in, you know, a desert, sand. If you're working in a construction zone, maybe some muddy dirt, something. Just give it something cool and make it your own. Anyways, guys, I hope you have enjoyed. This has been how to build a forklift in Minecraft. Now, like any driver out there, make sure to follow the rules of the handbook and be careful with your new forklift. Thanks for watching, guys.